So you guys probably know that Tucker Carlson has gotten kicked out of Fox News and people have been wondering where he's going to go. Well, apparently he's announced where he's going. He's going to Twitter. Yes, you heard that right. Tucker Carlson is moving Tucker Carlson tonight to Twitter, or at least the new iteration of the series will air there. So let's take a look at his announcement video, which frankly I have not seen yet. Um, so let's let's give that a watch here. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. You often hear people say the news is full of lies, but most of the time that's not exactly right. Much of what you see on television or read the New York Times is in fact true in the literal sense. It could pass one of the media's own fact checks. Lawyers would be willing to sign off on it. In fact, they may have, but that doesn't make it true. It's not true. At the most basic level, the news you consume is a lie, a lie of the stealthiest and most insidious kind. Facts have been withheld on purpose, along with proportion and perspective. Yeah, it's well known that like, you know, telling part of the truth is pr arguably more deceptive than, than, than lying outright. You are being manipulated. How does that work? Let's see. If I tell you that a man has been unjustly arrested for armed robbery, that is not, strictly speaking, a lie. He may have been framed. At this point, there's been no trial, so no one can really say. But if I don't mention the fact that the same man has been arrested for the same crime six times before, Ooh. am I really informing you? Ooh, no, I'm not. That's a good point. I'm misleading you. And that's what the news media are doing in every story that matters, every day of the week, every week of the year. What's it like to work in a system like that? Now, I wonder if he's going to take any shots at um, at Fox News because, hey, you know, most a lot of conservatives probably won't agree with this, but Fox News is part of the mainstream media. So, you know, is he going to pretend like Fox News isn't to some degree like all of the other cable news channels? After more than 30 years in the middle of it, we could tell you stories. The best you can hope for in the news business at this point is the freedom to tell the fullest truth that you can. But there are always limits. And you know that if you bump up against those limits often enough, you will be fired for it. That's Yo, wait. Is he saying that that's why he got fired? It was because he was starting to talk about things that Fox News didn't want him to talk about? That's interesting because he never actually mentioned why he got fired. And I think this is pretty close to him doing so so that would be that would that would make sense though because a lot of what he said has been very much out of lockstep with the rest of the network he talks about things that no one else in the channel um has been talking about so you know i could i could see that um you know that being the case i, I think that's what a lot of people were guessing as well but there had been no confirmation of that until now it's not a guess it's guaranteed every person who works in english language media understands that the rule of what you can't say defines everything. It's filthy, really, hmm. and it's utterly corrupting. You can't have a free society if people aren't allowed to say what they think is true. Speech is the fundamental prerequisite for democracy. That's why it's enshrined in the first of our constitutional amendments. Amazingly, as of tonight, there aren't many platforms left that allow free speech. The last big one remaining in the world, the only one, is Twitter. Mm. where we are now twitter interesting i mean i guess well, yeah i mean that's that's a fair point there are there are other ones that exist but they're kind of niche they're niche networks um and some of the bigger ones um got started years ago and they're kind of dying the ones that are growing are it's hard to tell if they're, they'll be fads or not so it's it's a fair thing to say that the last a big one is twitter it's not the only you know free speech platform remaining but it's the only like major one as long oh but i will say though that there has been some censoring still going on at twitter like there's been censoring of, like links to substack it, it is a point that that there's some censoring taking taking place so um yeah interesting in the world the only one is twitter where we are now twitter has long served as the place where our national conversation incubates and develops twitter is not a partisan site everybody's allowed here and we think that's a good thing. And yet, for the most part, the news that you see analyzed on Twitter comes from media organizations that are themselves thinly disguised propaganda outlets. You see it on cable news, you talk about it on Twitter. The result may feel like a debate, but actually the gatekeepers are still in charge. 
We think that's a bad system. We know exactly how it works, and we're sick of it. Starting soon, we'll be bringing a new version of the show we've been doing for the last six and a half years to Twitter. We okay, interesting. Interesting. So I wonder what the format of this new show is going to be. Is it going to be the same or is it going to be different? If it's going to be different, how so? And I'm curious to see if he still retains the rights to that Fox News, uh, no, that Tucker Carlson Today set that it looked like he recorded his previous video out of. We bring some other things too, which we'll tell you about. But for now, we're just grateful to be here. Free speech is the main right that you have. Without it, you have no others. See you soon. Interesting. Also, what the heck is that? Is that um, aspect ratio? <laughs> aspect ratio is goofy, but interesting. Now, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of him deciding to move like to Twitter. I was hoping that he would go to somewhere like Rumble or create his own like website or YouTube channel. But you know, I could see why he would want to go to Twitter. You know, I could. You know, it, it's certainly possible that like. Maybe Rumble didn't have enough money to, you know, give him a, a deal that would be worth it for him. You know, maybe the same could be said for a, a streaming platform, maybe like Kick. I could, I could completely see Twitter being the only company that could afford to, you know, give Tucker Carlson a deal comparable to what Fox News gave him. So... I'm not going to fault him too much for moving to Twitter. The only thing is I hope that there's like an audio only version, like a podcast or something, because I don't, I really am not going to feel like going to Twitter just to watch Tucker Carlson, especially when you guys know I'm not even the biggest fan of Tucker Carlson. I'm just interested to see how this new show is going to start um, seeing Tucker Carlson be uncensored. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll tune into Twitter for the first week or two just to see what the show is about. Because uh, I think that having an uncensored show will also give us a much clearer um, perspective on what Tucker Carlson's ideology is. Because you know we've got some hints here and there from his Fox News channel, like, is he alt-right? Is he authoritarian? Um, but maybe some of that was influenced, of course, by the network constraining him and what he could and couldn't say. So I'm kind of interested to you know get more clarity on where he stands on certain positions. And also see what the format of the new show is, um, and just see how it changes, how it improves, and or, or how it um, how it gets worse. You no, know, anyways, should be very very interesting. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of Tucker Carlson, I will be tuning in just to see what happens.